chapter 14, oh, verse 21. Bring it so this is proof right here that I've been doing the work with Zamron for years. This was three years ago. I've talked to Zamron. This you, is the you. Lord. So we got to find out who we truly are in these last days so that we can start operating how God created us to be. All right, sis? Okay. All right. Thank you. All present. All right. All right. We love you. All present on side. Right? Give me the book of Matthew, man. Let's deal with the matter. Right? We're going to, this is going to be a little bit different, man. Yes. I said I wasn't going to address the situation. But it needs to be addressed. Right. It just needs to be addressed. Real quick, before I do that, give me the book of Leviticus chapter 5, verse 1. That's what I want first. This Leviticus, is the book of Leviticus. 5 and 1. Give me Matthew chapter 18, starting verse 15. Give me the book of James chapter 2, verse 9. Right? I'm trying to be as quick as possible. Come on. Bring it out. Bring it out. Oh, Bring it out. Bring it out. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 5, verse 1. Get out, huh? And if a soul sin. And hear the voice of the swearing. If a soul sins and hear the voice of a swearing, go ahead. And it is a witness. Mm -hmm. What you, doing, you have seen or known of it. Get some time, bro. Come holler at me. How you doing, brother? Hit the story real quick. Okay, yeah, come holler at me when you come out. All right, read that again. So what? And if a soul sin and hear the voice of swearing, uh -huh. and it is a witness, mm -hmm. whether he has seen or known of it, he do not utter it. Then he shall bear his iniquity. So you got a lot of people that like to bear false witness. They right. like to speak on people, right. right? Speak on other individuals, right? And have not seen, have not known anything that they're actually talking about, yeah. right? This is a very, very heavy charge. You know what I'm saying on Israel? This is something that if you are a teacher, right, or if, or just just all out, just in this truth, this is something that you don't want to dive into, right? That gossiping type spirit with no facts, evidence, right? And that's what we're going to touch in, touch on today, right? I'm pretty sure a lot of brothers been seeing, you know what I'm saying, this brother, you know what I'm saying? We love the brother. Right. Let me just start off by saying that. Right? We, we love the brother dearly, right? We're not going to say his name, right? We know who he is, right? It will be exposed because it has to be, right? Matthew 18 and 15 was exhorting, right? Many different things was exhorting, right? But yet the brother is not only speaking, bearing false witness on brothers up here doing the work, right? He's also speaking on brothers' wives. Right? He's just speaking on all types of nonsense, man. And it has to be stopped. So when we see this, man, we have to address it. Uh, the brothers who are in this, but, um, you know, when I was doing the work with them and interacting with them, with the Gentiles, these guys were doing a lot of things that vexed my spirit, that I just kept to myself. There was a lot of interrupting on the line. We got one guy, I would be speaking, and the reader would interrupt me to to speak. I mean, you're not supposed to do that, you know. If you have something to say, you know, you know, hold fast and you know, you know, there's gotta be decency and order in this thing. And it starts all the way from the bottom to the top, from the most insignificant law the most serious of them they all must be taken in consideration equally Matthew 18 and 15 huh? go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Matthew 18 and 15 Matthew 18 verse 15 bring it out moreover, thy, moreover if thy brother shall trespass against thee uh -huh. and go tell him his fault between thee and him alone so the first thing you have to do man if you feel like somebody's doing you wrong how you doing Cain? I'm doing good, brother. You got time to come talk to me for like two minutes? Okay, no problem, brother. You an Israelite, though, man. The Bible speaks of God's chosen people, and we got to repent and keep the commandments so we can get salvation and become rulers in the kingdom, man. That's right? Go ahead. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. So usually when you bring a situation, you want to bring it to that brother first. Right. It doesn't always guarantee that you know, you're going to hear each other out and the, and the problem is going to be resolved. But a lot of times the problem can be resolved by just simply reaching out to the brother. That's it's right. Like a phone call, right? Whether it's just popping up on the brother at his house. Maybe you see the brother walking on the street, right? right. Stop by and, and deal with that issue, man. Right. Because we truly love our people, right? And we don't want sin to suffer. Go ahead. Upon our people. Go ahead. But if he would not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every. Every word may be established. In the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. 
So if you're not able to resolve an issue with your own brother, right, then bring in two or three witnesses. Right. Two or three witnesses that actually witness the situation or have knowledge right through the scriptures to be able to exhort these brothers. Right? Right. Right? Right. 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 right? So that brothers can continue to keep walking in brotherly love. Right, go ahead. And if he and, and if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the into the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a, a heathen man and a and a publican. Right. So there's three different steps, and a lot of people jump straight to that last step, right? Treating our brothers like heathens, right? Treating our sisters like heathens, because you have a beef that you have not addressed, or maybe you addressed it, but you didn't like, right, the scriptures or how how things was addressed, right? So you get emotional, right? Right? Instead of bringing more witnesses, <clears throat> and you just run straight, you know, what I'm saying to the internet, right? You run straight on social media. Right, you run straight to YouTube and start making videos. Right, right. It's about. speaking lies, man, about brothers and sisters, man. Right, you can drop that. Right, give me the book of what I call. I call it James two and nine. James two and nine, and give me the book of First Timothy. I want First Timothy chapter four, start at verse one through two. Uh, you can bring that out first, King. I want uh, James two and nine. This is the book of James chapter two and verse nine. Read out. Read out. But if he have respect to persons. He commits sin and are convinced of the law as transgression. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend. Matter of fact, I'm one. sorry, just read, just read verse 9. There's a okay. key point in verse 9. It's like I got distracted. All right. uh, first, James, James 2 and 9. James 2 and 9. Book of James, chapter 2, verse 9. Read out. But if ye have respect, Persons. If he have respect to persons, Go ahead. he commits sin uh -huh. and are convinced of the law as transgressors. Right. See, a lot of brothers, man, and I'm, I'm speaking about Israelite camps, man. Not all camps. Right. I'm not going to mention their names. We know the main camps that constantly, constantly make videos, man, about every single other brother or every single other camp. Yep. Right. Yep. But read that again from the top. Read that again from the top, James 2 and 9. Hear this out. Book of James, chapter 2 and verse 9. Right. Yeah. But if he have respect to persons, uh -huh. he commits sin. He commits sin. You can drop that. Right? If you want to have a respect to the persons, you're in sin. That's right. Right? The most high is not even a respect of a person. Right? That's right. Right? What makes you think that you puffed up? You don't know, oh, I like this leader. This leader is mighty. He must be a prophet. Oh, this person over here is a false prophet, right? Oh well, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna listen to, you know, I'm a part of this camp. I'm not gonna follow the camp rule, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't respect, I don't respect that person, right? But then when this person comes around, you know what I mean? I'm gonna keep the camp rule, right? Oh, I'm not gonna talk. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to this brother a certain way because I don't give a damn about him, right? But I love brother Jay, right? I'm not gonna talk to brother Jay like that because I respect him. Well, you going off, man? And we see a lot of that. Right, and we see, and, and, and we're seeing this brother, and we again, we love this brother, right? Been dealing with this brother for quite some time. One of the original members, part of the camp, when we were messengers, Israel, right? But the brother's got too much of a respecter of persons, man. Right, the brother is too much of a respecter of GMS. Now I'm gonna name it, right? You become too much of a respecter of a certain camp, then you know what I'm saying, then, and you forget about the Most High God. That's right. You forget right. about Christ. That's right. Now you start looking at these certain men, right? That you have to be like them, right, in order to get to the kingdom. Bring it out. Right? Then you got people, you know what I'm saying? Then you got brothers that sit there and like to make themselves part of that number. That's right. Brothers like to throw out that, oh, this brother's a two third. Brother got that two third spirit. Bring it out. Right? Brothers got to be real careful when you're saying that because you're making yourself part of that number, and we dare not make ourselves part of that number. Right? How you doing, King? I doing? How are you? Doing all right. What's your name? My name is Ali. Ali? Yeah. Prince Ali, 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 above What do you have? We're out here teaching the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that we are God's chosen people. That's right. Right? Have you ever read that in the Quran? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, don't go nowhere. 
Hold on, my brother got a question for you. <laughs> Ali, man, it, Ali. <laughs> hey, I'll go, I'll go pull Hans in this. <laughs> yeah, I'll go pull Hans. I, I mean, I can deal. We can deal with the Quran, but I, I'm not in the mood today. I just go give it to somebody else. <laughs> Let them chop them up, right? Yeah, at least he agreed. <laughs> right, at least he agreed. Exactly, right. So this is what we're touching on, man. Right? We love you, brother, but you gotta repent, man. That's right. Right, well, you gotta start bearing false witness and get your own people. That's uh, the brothers who are in this, but um, you know, when I was doing the work with them and interacting with them, with the Gentiles, these guys were doing a lot of things that vexed my spirit. That I just kept to myself. There was a lot of interrupting on the line. We got one guy. I would be speaking in the rear would interrupt me to to speak. This blessing, well that's a metaphor for the men of the Lord. Right. You're gonna be in this truth. People are gonna tell you you ain't the man of the Lord. And when they tell you that, you can either get your feelings hurt. Uh, I'll be right there. You can either get your feelings hurt and fall out of the truth, or you can endure. You can't be mad at the group leader because he hurt your feelings. If the group leader hurts your feelings, you need to come at him with some precepts. Right. Okay, okay. And once you come at him with those precepts, and it's undeniable, okay, we're going to figure out who's wrong or who's right. But if you get in your feelings and you get emotional about it, and guess what? More than likely that leader was right. And now since you got emotional, you're not coming to camp anymore. And, and, and now you're slowly falling out of the truth. And it's gonna be that much easier for you to take that MO to the B. So you gotta you gotta make sure you go hold on to this truth once you get it. Brother, do you love the Lord? Do you love the Lord? I love life. You love life. I love life. So who gives life? Like, if I if I had to have a relationship with the Lord, I have a relationship with life. And I have a relationship with the Lord. Now, okay, so you look at the Lord. That's the Lord. Okay, in my in my perspective, because when you look out to the world. It's hard to speak about God and speak about the Lord. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard to speak about the Lord and hard to speak about God. Yeah, it's and, really and, hard. And inside of the living right now. And I look at this young man right here, and I say, hey, and then you bring him for a year, and 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 you bring him for a year. This word is what's going to keep you here. I can do that. I can do that. But that's the fear I have. When I look at these young men, I look at these young men. What's your name? Come on. All right, 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 4, start at verse 1, read all the way through 2. Give me Sirach chapter 11, verse 7. Let's get to the nitty of this. Go ahead. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. Bring it out. Now, now the Spirit speaketh expressly mm -hmm. that in the latter times right. some shall depart from the faith. Right, in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Right, that, that's dealing with all aspects. When you hate your own people, when you hate your own brother, when you wish death on your own brother, right. when you uh, wishing for a brother to get locked up and removed from his family, right? You wishing on a brother's family to go to a damn FEMA camp, yeah, right? Wild. You hating your own people, man. That's right. Right? Yeah, that's that's a, right? That's an example of people losing the faith. See that? Right? You don't that's have right. faith when the Most High God says that we need to love our people. That's right. You don't have faith, right? When Psalms 133 and 1 says how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity, right? Instead, you're talking against unity. Right, said the brothers talking about, oh, you got one, two, three, trace camps, trace leaders, right? Trace different doctrines. Well, damn, brother, was you in the meeting? Was you in that phone conversation when we had the phone conversation with the other two leaders and how we were going to run this thing, right? No, you did it. You didn't do this. Cyrac 11 and stuff. <laughs> Whoever got it. Cyrac 11 and stuff. We got to address it, man. Right. We have to. Right. Right. Because the brother accused, you know what I'm saying, he accused brothers, right, that were standing on the line, that was readers, of interrupting him while speaking. Man. And I'm going to keep it 100. This is how rank 11 verse The seven. brother never spoke. No. no. Uh, no. Blame not before thou has examined the truth. <laughs> Blame, let me read that again. Blame not before thou has examined the truth. Blame not before thou has examined the truth. You have to examine the entire matter before. That's what judges do. That's right. right. In the court of law. That's right. That's right. right? 
It's called proof. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, innocent until proven guilty. That's right. Right. So you can't just take what somebody said and just run with it when you haven't even looked into it. Right. That's right. Right, brother. Talking about that, readers are interrupting when he speaks. Well, you you never teach. That's right. You, That's right. In the history of you being in the camp, bro, you I'll be probably maybe I probably maybe taught I don't know four three times. Right in the matter of three four years, and we again we love the brother, but we have to address this. Because right. it's just getting him every single day It's a video Right <laughs> Brother throwing out government names Right, right. Yeah. Really trying to incriminate people wow. Right It's sad Go right. ahead Understand first Understand first Go ahead And then rebuke And then, then rebuke. rebuke Right Get the understanding first Talk to the brother Exhort Matthew 18 and 15 If you have no understanding That's right Because maybe that brother Will give you the understanding Right You see a situation happens at, Like we see stuff all the time When we watch other camp videos Right, they may take little certain parts and maybe edit certain things out, right, and maybe not show the entire thing. And then you'll have our people that will go on there and scoff, right, just at the one little thing instead of actually watching the entire, the entire video. That's right. Right, or who wasn't present at the entire camp to see what was going on. God. Right. Right. Before rebuke. Right. Let's uh, see how these how these guys do business here. <laughs> So you you see the energy, you see how these guys sound? <laughs> Poster! <laughs> That's right! I mean like it's not like what they're saying. It's not true, it's the truth, but the whole energy in their voice, the way they're saying it, the way they're coming off, in combination with the fact that they got women on the line, at war, in pants, um, they're, uh, uh, they're going off in regards to Amos 3 and 3. Because SOI, I don't know what they believe in in regards to the mark of the beast, but they never explained it. Give me Ezekiel chapter 3, starting verse 7, read all the way through 8, right? And I think I call 2 Corinthians, I want to say 11 and 6, right? Because we're going to get back to addressing this brother, right? He, he accused brothers like saying, he accused brothers of shouting too loud at the heathens while on the line, right? <laughs> and we cannot make this stuff up, man. Right? We're going to address this, man. This is also part of defending the gospel. Right! right, right, right I'm going to defend right. my brothers, man, when I see... That's when right! I see that's right! ...false witness on my brothers. Right. right! Right? Bring us out. It's a Corinthians 11, verse 6. Bring it out. But though I be rude in speech... Though I may be rude in speech... speech. This is everybody's favorite person, Paul. Right? Go ahead. Yet not in knowledge. Yet not in what? Yet not, not in knowledge. knowledge. So we say that the so-called white man is a goddamn devil the Bible speaks of. Mm -hmm. That we got that knowledge from the most high God. That's right. Right? It may sound rude, right? But it's knowledgeable. Right? Yeah. When we tell the heathen that the wicked shall flee when no man pursue it, and we may say it rudely, right? At times. But it's knowledgeable. That's right. Right? Sure. Go ahead. But well, we have been through. Thoroughly made, uh, made manifest among you in all things. Yeah, that's good, man. Right, bring this up. This is the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 7. Bring it out. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, mm -hmm. for thy will not hearken unto me, mm -hmm. for all the house of Israel are imprudent and hard headed. Mm -hmm. And hard hearted, it's like it. Right? A lot of our people are hard hearted. Right. Right? Brothers don't got a heart in this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a shame, man, when the damn tin man got his heart first before an Israelite. Go ahead. Verse 8. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces. Right. We got to make our face strong against their faces. Right. That's including. Now, this in, in, in context of dealing with Israel. That's right. Right? So, we got to make our, hard, our, 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 our faces, right, hard against our own people, mm -hmm. which means that whatever energy that they give us, we got to give them that same energy, but That's 10 times right. more. Right? If we got to do it, if we're instructed to do that to our own people, what makes you think we're not going to do it to a heathen? Uh, that want right. to come up scoffing. That's that want to come up being belligerent. Right? That want to come up, you know what I'm saying, causing a, a, a discourse within the brethren. Go ahead. Madness. 
Right, it's madness, King. I, I agree with you. And thy forehead strong against their forehead. And thy forehead strong against their foreheads, man. You come hard, we gonna come hard. That's right. But the thing is that we're gonna do it in decency and in order. That's right. Right? Yes, we're addressing you, brother. We love you. We are addressing you. And this will be the only time that we're gonna address this situation. But we're gonna do it in decency and in order. Right? We're gonna bring out the scriptures. We're not just gonna make a bunch of false claims with no proof. Right? What I call uh, Exodus 20 and 16. This is Exodus 20 and, and you 16. Give me, uh, Proverbs 12 and 19, I believe. Right, bring it up. This is Exodus 20 and verse 19, uh, verse 16. Verse thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. This is the key thing, man. Thou shalt not what? Bear, bear false, false witness, witness against thy neighbor. Right, and your neighbor is your own people. Right? The brother just bearing false witness left and right. Right, brother talking about that I got did by Diddy. I never met the man. Yeah, that's mad. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm being dead serious. And you're gonna, oh, no. I'm gonna post video clips to show all this too. No diddy. Right? Right? Exactly. <laughs> right? Straight up tripping, man. Right? The brother talking about, you know what I'm saying? It's just madness. I'm not even gonna lie to you. The brother said he still must. Talking about me, the brother said he still must be. Uh, he still must be in the industry, in the music industry. Because I went with him to a studio session and Esau was the engineer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we can't make this up. No. No. We can't make this up. And this is dealing with this is dealing with my this is dealing with my second project, the uh, the Jacob's Trouble album that I rushed, to be honest with you, that I didn't get fully mixed and mastered, like I did the third one, like I did the first one, like I did this mixtape. Right? Now why did I record with Esau? Exodus 20 and 16. Again, you have to examine the entire matter before you sit there and review. Exodus 20 and 16. Let's find out why I did record a few songs at an Esau studio. Exodus 20 and 16. Right. <laughs> thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Uh huh. Thou shalt not, co thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's mm -hmm. house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Right. You can stop right there. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Jump to Deuteronomy real quick. Deuteronomy. That's what I want. Chapter 23. Sorry, verse 19. Bring it out. Right? Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 19. Deuteronomy My brother didn't want to sit there and take up for heathens, man. And hate his own people. It's madness. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 23, verse 16. Verse 19. Verse 19. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not let upon, upon usury to thy brother. Right. Well, I'm not going to sit there, right, and, and commit usury against my own people. Right? Try to cheapskate them out of some things, right? Right, not pay them what they're worth. Sweet. Right? Go ahead. Usury of money, usury of, of victims, and usury of anything that is lent upon usury. Right, go ahead. Unto a stranger thy may is Unto lend. what? Unto a stranger Strange. thy may is lend upon usury. Did book. God just say that we can commit usury against these other nations? Uh -huh. Yes or no? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right? So when I know I want to put out a project real quick and I don't want to spend that much money. Right? I'm not going to sit there and go and pay my actual engineer, Jinx, who's been my main engineer at Boom House Studios, right, for the last 10 years. Right? Because he deserves more money. And I didn't have it at the time. So I decided to go record some songs at Esau Studio, right, for $20 an hour. Knowing that I can walk in there two hours and walk out with three songs. That's called user. Mm -hmm. oh. So if you would have asked me that, brother, you know what I'm saying, you would have had that answer. You would have understood before actually trying to rebuke. Instead, you just throw out a claim that says, he must still be friends with Diddy. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, because when I went to the studio, you know, he was a poor Reesaw. Got his voice. Right? We got to address these things, man. Right? We have to address these things. I called out something else, too. Uh, give me Proverbs 12 and 19. That's what I called out. Book of Proverbs, chapter 12, and verse 19. Bring it, Bring it out. out! The lips of truth shall be established Forever. Right. The lips of truth shall be established forever. Right? We don't want to just be having lies coming out of our mouth. It's not going to be established forever. Because eventually those lies, right, is going to be exposed. That's right. Right? That's What's right. done in the darkness is going to be brought That's out in the light. That's right. Exactly. Simple as that, man. Right. That's right. So we want to make sure that whatever comes out of your lips are powerful, man. That's right. Right? You trying to wish death on a brother, man. That, your lips are powerful, man. Right, you saying that you don't know saying that? Oh, you know uh, that? Oh, certain niggas is two thirds. Your lips is powerful. No. You don't know if you are two thirds. No. Right, we don't even know no. if we are. We're safe. Right, nobody's safe. 
Right, so we got to be careful, man, how we address certain situations, yeah. man. Thus said the Lord. First Thessalonians 5 and 21. Right, because the brother accused my brother Ash, right, and accused me, right, for having false doctrine just because we make soundtracks. I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> last time, I, I ain't heard of bro. I, I haven't seen the world since. Bro, last soundtrack I had was Sister Act 2. I thought soundtracks were dealing with, with movies. Right? Hey, um. Yeah. I work for Esau. <laughs> so I gotta, All right, we going to address it, man. We going to address it. First, that's what This is looking for a second. They're going off in regards to Amos 3 and 3 because SOI, I don't know what they believe in in regards to the mark of the beast, but they never explained it that I know of. I know Zaron you know his doctrine in regards to the MO to the B is twisted and off and I've never heard brother Ash talk about um, the MO to the B like and he you know has an album he has a soundtrack he is a logo all these guys got logos soundtracks and false doctrines like I heard brother Ash claim that he hasn't sinned since he's been in the truth. Like I've heard him say this on camera. Hey. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> Alright, we gonna address it, man. We gonna address it. First hey, hey, yeah. hey. This is looking for a second. Five and twenty-one. No. Nope. Prove all things. Do what? Prove, Prove all, all things. No, just just bear false witness. Prove, Prove all things. things. Say somebody's part of the industry and that they're signed to the devil with no proof. Prove, Prove all, all things. things. Say somebody's an agent. Prove, Prove all, all things. things. Bro, you gotta prove all things. Right. Right. right? Brother even said something about about sisters' wives. I'm a brother's wives. Yeah. Right. Only is five and one. Bring it out. But of the times and the seasons, brethren. First Thessalonians five and twenty-one. Or twenty-one. Yep, come. Right. And twenty-one. Right. Prove all things. Do what? Prove, Prove all, all things. Oh, just make false claims against brothers. Prove, Prove all, all things. things. Right. That's what we're telling you, brothers. To prove all things. Right. Stop sitting there saying that. Oh, that uh, that brother Ash, you know what I'm saying, and brother Zamron, they must have a false doctrine because they have soundtracks. Uh, <laughs> right. Soundtrack. But brother, prove all things. I've never made a soundtrack. My my music is never played for a movie. Come on. Let's make it make sense, man. <laughs> right. Brother, you even spoke about SOI, brother. Our dear brothers from SOI. Right. Well, you know, you know, I like. Huh, I don't really know too much about SOI, but I do like them brothers, but, uh, you know, uh, something's just off. Well, brother, prove it. Prove it, man. Right? These are things we got to realize. Prove all things. Go ahead. Hold fast that which is good. Hold fast that which is good. What is good is to examine the entire matter before review. That's, That's right. It all goes back to Cyrac 11 and 7, man. Right? We cannot forget the basics, man, right, of, of the truth. We can't forget the basics of these precepts. That's going to be the knowledge and stability of our times. Sirach 14 and 14. Uh, this is the book of Sirach. The 14th, verse 14. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Be not thyself of the good day. What did the Lord say? Be not thyself of the good day. Right, you got the brother that's making claims against us, man. Right? Talking about, oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, these brothers is just in the truth, you know what I'm saying, for fame, for music, and all this other stuff. Right? Saying brothers is all for making Israelite music. Uh -uh. What's crazy is I ain't recorded a song since before I came to the truth. That's a fact. Cause that is a fact. I've been trying to get a song with Brother Ash, you know what I'm saying, since 1942. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we just so busy, you know what I'm saying, doing the work of the Lord that, hey, that's more important. But sometimes when we have that time, right, to actually be able to use the gift that the Lord gave us, the Lord said, don't defraud thyself of a good day. That's right. right? It's a good day for us to be able to use the gift that God gave us. That's right. right. It's a good day for us, brothers, to come out here on the highways and hedges where our people is at and uh, teach our beautiful sisters, right? Teach our kings, right, that they are royalty, man, that their salvation is for them. Yeah. Right? Yeah, right? We love you, sister. We care about you. All praise That's right. right. That's right, man. Okay. You see that? Oh, hey, that's the We're getting out. This is the 
this, hey, this is, hey, this is the truth, right, of the Torah being thrown right in your face. Right. This is the Torah. We still can have servants and handmaids right now. That's right. Right? We can have slaves right now, according to the Torah. That's right. Here we go. One. You see that? Say, hey, sister, kind of. This the kind of got me in a great mood, man. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Right? Right? Angels are uh, unaware. And we have black brothers with no talent throw us off. That, that's, that's right. right. That's right. That's a fact. What did right. you just say? We ain't gonna let brothers with no talent and no gas right. throw us off. Yeah. Right. Because at the end of the day, we mm -hmm. still love you, brother. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Kind of got a, you know, kind of been kicked. That, that damn MMA kind of get kicked in the head a few times. Yeah. You know, yeah. kind of one of the things. Right now, the brother also says he was oh, talking yeah, about yeah, the yes. defending defending Amalek, man. Right oh, wow. on that yeah. video, talking about the brother said, "Oh, Amalek, he might be an Israelite. He, he might be an Israelite." He's an Israelite. He's an Israelite. So why I didn't even take the time, right, to sit there, you know, saying and read the spirit first, not knowing that this was a repeat offender, God. right? What you're gonna see in the clip, I'm gonna show you the clip the first time he came up, right? And I want you to see on that clip, watch how Maccabees, you know, what I'm saying. How, how this Edomite comes up, attacks the man of the Lord, right? Allows an Edomite female to pour root beer all over my speaker and all over my pants on Capitol Hill, right? And then this, this same Edomite tries to come up and sneak hit my our brother Yakov, right? No, we're going to defend our brothers. That's right. Right? If any of these heathens right. come up here, man, and touch any of our brothers, man, when we are out here, right, to wake up our people, when we are out here to come forth as sheep, right, to come forth harmless as doves, Right. Don't get it twisted, man. We're still going to defend ourselves. But there is a time and a place for everything. Right. Okay, y'all looking at this? All right. So you see that uh, the Edomite right there with the black coat on, the shorts, right? And he's kind of talking to that Jake. So right now, this was probably the last time that we actually uh, taught at Capitol Hill in Seattle. Um, and dealing with this situation, we just started. And this guy in the black coat, right, as y'all see, right, this guy right here, right, this Edomite just came up. As soon as we got started, he must have had a bad experience right, with another camp. Funny thing is, is that this is also the same guy, right, that came up to the camp on the video that GMS did that Brother Maccabees just regurgitated. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't know at all. Right. This guy just has a hatred towards all Hebrew Israelite camps. He walks up to camps. And he tries to cause strife and division to get the camps to act, you know what I'm saying, physically. Now, before I push play, we're dealing with the Jake again. Notice we're always dealing with our people, right? When these other nations want to come up, you know what I'm saying, and be and, and be physical, be belligerent. As I'm dealing with the Jake, you have an Edomite lady who's going to end up walking somewhere over here, right? Who's going to end up walking over here, right? Let me push pause. So y'all can see what's going on, right? And in this situation, right? In this situation, you have an Edomite lady with pink hair that just walks up out of nowhere, takes a whole two liter of root beer and pours it, right? And pours it on our $300 speaker, man. $350 speaker that we had just got at this time. As you see, we are still messages for Israel at this point. Right. We are not WFI Seattle. OK. So as soon as the lady comes up and pours root beer all over my speaker, I'm actually shocked. And she poured root beer on my white pants. Right. That would be considered assault. Right. But we still got to be harmless. You know, what I'm saying, uh, you know, uh, we still got to be, you know, what I'm saying. Uh, meek like sheep, you know, what I'm saying. And, you know, we're, we're sent amongst wolves. Right. We got to be harmless as doves, like spoken about in Matthew. So my brother, your call is going to come around, right? And it just bumps the Edomite lady so she can just stop pouring the rest of that two liter on our speaker. As soon as that happens, this Edomite tries to sneak and attack my brother, your call. Now, as I push play, let's see if brother Maccabees actually is going to defend his own people or is he just going to stand there? Is he going to defend his own people and get physical like he got with our own brother? Or is he just going to stand there? Let's find out. And again, y'all, this is about proving all things, right? And defending the gospel. 
So if some of y'all have an issue with this, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is. This stuff happens all the time, you know what I'm saying, in camps. But these things have to be brought out through decency and in order, right? We love the brother. I still love the brother, man. The brother just needs to repent, man. Hold on. That's the right question. Right? Look at this. I'm on this beat. That's the problem. For Israelites. Right? And we out here for you, sister. You're an Israelite. That's right. You're harming them. You're harming them. You're harming your own goddamn movement. That's right. Say it. Racist piece of shit. Racist piece of shit. Let's see what Christ said. Racist piece of shit. Racist piece of shit. Come on. Not saying. Racist piece of shit. 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 Racist piece of
you the real Jews. That's right. Uh, you imposter. Give me uh, I there one. Give me, give me one, two, three, no, four, you there one. Now, if, if, we're, if we're not the real Jews, then you're the real Jews. I'm not saying you're not okay. a real Jew. My name is Captain. You want to be a Jew? We are. We are. We are. We are. See, they're not even listening to what this so-called Jewish man, he might be an Israelite, but they're not even taking the time to gauge the spirit or try the spirit. What does the Lord say about that? Try the spirit. Now you see that? You see that? This isn't the first time that Zamron's done some shit like this. He did some shit like this with me when I was in the camp. Luckily, I wasn't on the line. The Lord led me away because he didn't want me to be involved with that. And I say, the water, Lord. Um, um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I was uh, quitting smoking weed, so I was doing edibles. And I wasn't uh, totally acclimated to how these edibles hit you when they hit you. And I took some edibles before camp because I wasn't prophesizing, you know. Uh, I was just reading and, you know, who cares? I had a couple of edibles, but I took way too many and I passed that on the line and I had to go sit in the car. ID and you're not giving it to them because you just want to be difficult. If you would have just given them your ID, they would have saw that as you being compliant and they would have been less hostile on you and your chances of going to jail decreased drastically. But you didn't do that. You acted like an effeminate reprobate nigga that you are and you went to jail and you can't even listen to the words that are coming out of your own mouth so there's no way that you're going to listen to the words that are coming from Yahweh you won't listen to yourself that's how retarded you are and all you Israelites following after this dude when the blind lead at the blind, they all fall into a ditch. So don't think, hey, that's Zeremon, that's not me. No, 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 no. You contributed to his folly. You're just as culpable in his treachery as he is. So you're going to be put to death as well if you don't repent and separate thyself from thine enemy. So with that, we're gonna give a call ho yo 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 this is Machiala, you know, Michelangelo Maccabees, Peacemaker Watchman for Israel, you know, giving double honors to GMS that they rule in righteousness, out here for the hopeful elect in the one-third. Kwame Asharala, Kwame Asharala, Kwame Asharala. Right, Cyrac 11 and 8, uh, Cyrac 11 and 8, huh. and you give me the book of uh, Jeremiah 2 and 33. This, this, book, 11 and 8. this is the book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 8. Bring it up. Bring it up. Answer, not before thou hast heard the call. Right, answer, but you had not even heard the calls. Why is you talking? You was not at camp, right, to see the entire dialogue, what was going on that led up to the event, right, right. of that Edomite, you know what I'm saying, literally getting dealt with. Right. Right? You wasn't there, man. Right? In the little camera view that you have, Right, but just a camera view from SOI. Then we, we have the whole camera view from Nordstrom's. Where you can see the entire event. Right? In detail. But we don't need to go the extent. That's right. We're not gonna call this brother a reprobate. I don't wanna put that on. Reprobate! We don't wanna call him that. We just wanna say that we love the brother, he needs to repent. Right. Right? You don't need to be my friend. You don't need to be your friends to be in the truth. Right. right? You don't need to trust me. Right. You don't need to trust Brother Oz. Right. You don't need to trust Brother, you know what I'm saying, Brother Josh. I should brother like to find out we're not cool. Uh, right. This way, because I didn't even know there was an issue. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's going to see it. I don't find it You're going to see it. Cold. Right? So these are things we got to realize, man. That's give me, you know, give me Jeremiah 2 and 33. Why are you taking up for the heathen, man? Like the other right? victims. But then know. sit there and fight your own people. Because we're going to show that too as well. See, one thing about me is I keep receipts. Woo! 
That's one thing about me. I truly believe in First Thessalonians five and twenty one. Oh yeah. Right. To prove all things. Yes, yeah, right. Right. So the stuff that I'm that I say, I'll prove it. Take that right. shit back. That's right. Bring it up. This is Jeremiah two thirty three. Bring it up. Why trimmest thou? Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Why are you trimming your ways to seek love from Esau? Right. You know you an Israelite. You know that these other nations, you know what I'm saying, are going to end up being in chains and captivity. Right? 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 But you want to take up for Amalek. Right? You want to trim your ways, right, to seek love from Esau, man. You want to trim your ways to seek love from the police department by calling our brothers full government names, man, instead of by their Hebrew names. Right? They ain't got the nerve, you know what I'm saying, to call brothers up here agents, man. Right? When I swear all of us brothers got nine to five jobs and barely right. making it out here in this right. country. That's right. 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 Let's let it make let's let's make it make sense, man. Right? Make it make sense. I, I take offense, man. Right? When brothers bear false witness on my brothers, man, that come up here week in and week out, man, put their brick in, stand ten toes down, and stand stiffly for the name of Yahweh about some of my shot. Come like Yahweh. That's right. Right. So no, we're not gonna allow, right? False witnesses, we're not allowing, you know what I'm saying, all this negativity, all this nonsense to just float all through the internet. Hell no. Right? No, we're going to prove all things. Read that one more time. Jeremiah 2 and 33. This is Jeremiah 2 and 33. Read it out. No. Why though thy, thy way to seek love? Uh -huh. Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Right. Therefore thou hast also taught the wicked ones thy ways, man. God. Right? So we got to start unifying, man. That's right. Right? Stop beefing with brothers all the time, man. Right? And watch who you beefing with. Make sure you have your facts straight before you put yourself out there like that. That's right. Right? Because it's not going to be a good look. Bring out what I got you going. Nah, this is the book of First Peter. The five, verse eight. Right? Bring it out. Be sober. Be what? Be, be sober. sober. No, be on edibles. Be, be sober. I'm, I'm going to take nine edibles before I come to camp. Be sober. Then I'm going to pass out on the line. Be sober. And then I'm going to go sleep in Zamron's car. Be sober! While my two brothers is out there teaching. Be sober! And I'm not going to tell these brothers the truth as far as why I passed out. I'm going to lie and say that I was sick. Be sober! Go ahead. Be diligent. Mm -hmm. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walking about, seeking whom he may devour. Devil. Right, seeking whom he may devour. That devil. Right? That devil right there. These are things we got to realize. I'm going to tell you this car. Right, these are things we have to realize. Right, you know, we'll, we'll give the brother. I, that's the one. That's the one true thing the brother just said on that on on all the videos. Brother made like six, eight videos. Damn. Right, but that was the one good thing that not the one true thing that he, he said. The brother did admit and said, you know, you know, the brother said, well, I, I've seen Zemron be in a situation before. You know, <laughs> you know, thank God the Most High God took me out of that situation. I wasn't there. <laughs> well. uh Actually, I, I kind of, I'm going to admit it, I, I was there, you know, I just had a lot of edibles, I just stopped smoking weed and I didn't know the impact of what edibles had, so I took so many edibles, came to camp and passed out and went in San Ron's car. But you're speaking on a situation as far as my arrest that happened two years ago, that's already been, through the spirit of the Most High, that case has been beaten. All praise of the Most High. Right? Through the spirit, through the spirit of the Most High, I was also able to learn from that situation two and a half years ago, right? and not do the same thing. Not put myself in that situation. Right. Well, right. Understanding that there's a time and a place for everything. Right. But just because we understand that there's a time and a place for everything doesn't mean that we gotta sit there and just be nice all the time. Right. Doesn't mean that we can't defend ourselves. That's right. right. These are things we have to realize, man. Right? Uh, what, I, what I had you holding? First Peter 5, uh, give me Proverbs 11 and 21. Proverbs 11 and 21, uh, we'll speed this up. Give me the book of First Maccabees chapter one, verse 11. Right? Because you rather defend Esau, but you you want to defend Esau, but you don't want to defend your own people. Right. And that's what you see. Right, go ahead. This is Proverbs 11, 21. Go hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. So you want to hold hands, you know what I'm saying, and stick up for Amalek, man. Right? right? Who's taking long yeah, umbrellas, yeah. man, and putting it right in 14-year-old, now he's 15, right? Putting it right in their dang face, man. Right? Who's not even on the line. That's another bearer false witness he did. Right? Right? How about Zamron and Zamron? Maybe you didn't have Zamron and Drew. You on the line. He wasn't on the line. He's right there. He's off the line. He's just trying to get the word. Maybe if you would have Syracked 11 and 7, you would have seen that. Wow. Oh, that women is on the line. Yeah. 
Y'all yeah, wearing dresses. I believe the line starts here. Right. Cut! 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 They in their own section. As far as I'm concerned, that's they camp. Right. right? Why are you worried about other people's wives anyway? Yeah. Let's let us make let's make it make sense. Yeah. Right? Why are we too busy looking for our people that's walking left and right, looking for souls that we can bring back to the most high God? That's right. Kind of that's right. Line looking at, at people's wives. Where's his wife? These are things we gotta realize, man. See that? Right? Talking about oh the women's on the line with pants on. Right? Not realizing, man. That that one sister that was dealing with SOI, that young sister that she got taught for literally 35 straight minutes, right? Was a 16 year old sister, man. Right. Oh, right. Man. Got taught by SOI for 35 straight minutes. Right. Came back, man, and felt so comfortable and felt the spirit, right? And we told her she can go ahead and sit next to the to the sisters, man. That's right. God. Right. Yes, she had pants on. She just learned that she was an Israelite. Right. That's Damn, right. Damn, let let a nigga let a nigga repent first. Ah! Damn. Right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Right, read. Read that again. Proverbs 11 and 21. Proverbs 11 and 21. Uh, Throw hands, join in hand. Right? The wicked should not be in punished. Right, so understand that if you want to continue to keep holding hands, right, and keep trying to, uh, you know, defend for your enemies, their punishment is still coming to them. That's right. That's right. And it's going to come from the hands of the Israelites. Thus said the Lord. That's right. That's right? right. Through his host of his angels, through Christ, right. especially Christ. Right, so these are things that we have to start comprehending yes, before we start lashing out, man, and making bold, you know what I'm saying, asinine statements, right? Give me the book of, uh, give me, I had First Maccabees, I uh, one and 11, right? Give me that. This is the book of First Maccabees, chapter one, verse 11. Uh -huh. and God, in those days. In those days. Went there out of Israel, wicked men. Wicked what? Wicked, wicked men. men. Right, we're seeing a bunch of wicked men in these last days, man, right? The Bible says in Jude, right? Matter of fact, hold that real quick. Give me uh, Jude 1 and 7. I believe that's what I want. Get out. Jude 1 and 7 or Jude 1 and uh, might be 4. I don't know once I see it. The book of Jude in the uh, New Testament. Book of Jude. J-U-D-E. -E. Jude. Chapter 1. Yep, right there. Chapter 1, I want uh, verse 4. Read that. This Jude. Jude chapter 1, verse 4. Read out. Yo. For there are certain men crept and, uh, and unaware. There are certain men that are going to be creeping in your camps unawares. Yeah, right. right? We've seen it. Gotcha. Right? What you, say? Yeah. you know, you, you've, been, you've seen it, brother. Yeah. Right? We've been out there. We'd be out there on the highways teaching. Right? Brother just come out of nowhere and may have fringes on. Right? Brother just kind of walk up on the teacher, man. Right? Kind of does that snark. Kwame Asherola. Right? And may <laughs> fool brothers, man. Right? Brother might see that be like, hey, somebody, brother. You know what I'm saying? Creeping up on the camp. Right, and then automatically just, you know what I'm saying, have the brother start doing the work with you, but you haven't even proved right, the plan first. Right, that's right. right. This is why certain, I'm understanding why certain camps have certain guidelines, regulations. You said you had to what? I had to learn that the hard way. And I'm learning that now, right? This is why certain camps have certain guidelines, right, regulations, uh, a certain, um, uh, like you're just not going to make a basketball team. Right, right. Right, you got to put in the work, you know what I'm saying, to show yourself worthy to be on that team. Tryouts. Right, tryouts, exactly. Right, this is why certain camps we have trials. Right. right, they want you to take certain tests. Right, so that they know that when you get out there on the highways and hedges, you're able to give an answer to our people mm -hmm. when they're trying to learn that they're an Israelite. Mm -hmm. Right, we want the Most High wants you to study, right, to show that self approval of the Most High God. Mm -hmm. Right, the Most High does not dealing with brothers, man. He's not trying to deal with brothers, right, and some and, and looking at the table of contents, you know, what I'm saying for the Book of Genesis. <laughs> right, we we've seen this thing, man. <laughs> Right? We're not making this up. <laughs> right? Brother called Genesis 1. Brother, I remember some brother called Genesis 1 and 8. Brother, you're called. Right? Genesis 1 and 8. Right? To show that the day starts at nighttime. Brother, in the table of contents, man. Right? That's, that's concerning. It's the first book of the Bible. Right? All you got to do is open the first flap. It's right there. So there are more, so you too worried about, you know, you, you need to worry about that. Right. Instead of worrying about lying on other brothers, man. Right? Because it is embarrassing. Right. Right? Crazy. Right? This is this is this is sad that I have to do this. But it has to be done. Right. Because you threw everybody's name in there. If you would have just directed it straight at me, I wouldn't have given them. God. Right? But when you want to bring other brothers, man, who are genuine, right? right? Other brothers that you don't even know you've never hung out with. Right? Then these things need to be addressed. Right. Thus said the Lord. Give me Luke 17 and 2. 
Luke 17 and 2. I got a couple more. I'm going to wrap this up. Luke 17 and 2. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You said what? You said three times? Yeah. Well, I mean, I was going to say it, but you know. The brother, you know, we love, when I say we love the brother, man, right, the brother didn't left the camp a few times and we didn't let him back in. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's because we love the brother, man. I want Luke 17 and 2. Yes, Luke 17 and 2. Mm -hmm. It were better for him that a milestone were hanged about his neck. Right. And he cast into the sea than that he should offend one of those little ones. Right. Right. When you sit there making claims on brothers like Brother Yuanathan, who just got into this truth, right, out here doing the work. You making claims, you know what I'm saying? But he literally called Malachi and said, Malachi, this, right there, there's all there's leaders on the uh, on the camp, on, on the line. Yeah. Talk about my brother, like Malachi got his own camp. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The brother's just trying to get to that adult life, man. Yeah. Right? When you hating on Young your man. own brothers, man, and making false claims, the most I said is better that you go and hang yourself. Right. Straight yeah. up. Hey, Salak, yeah. Huh. He called us all the black Hebrew Israelite. Well, see, that it's comes like out. Esau. See, I seen him say that. Ignorance. Right? I knew it was going to come out. Ignorance. Right? Black, right? Because when you're too busy, when you're too busy trying to sit there and hold hands, right, and uplift Esau, eventually his Esau spirit will actually jump up on you. Uh, that's Esau. right. To yeah. so the point that you start saying, look at these black Hebrew Israelites. Uh, right? <laughs> Got that Uncle Ruckus spirit. <laughs> right? You can't realize, man. All right, what's yeah. the name of that damn from the Django? Man, that damn Samuel Steve, Jackson. Samuel Jackson. Jackson. Steven. 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 right. Steven. I got that Steven spirit, man. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, Steven. But again, Steven. we still love the brother. <laughs> of course. At the end of the day, we <laughs> always gonna love the brother. Shout out oh, to you, brother. Shout out to you. Hold on, you know, I gotta tell no. I gotta address this. Come on. The other brother also said, too. You know, when you make a claim, when you say something's gonna happen yeah. and it don't happen, Right. That makes you a what? False oh, prophet. prophet. A liar. Right. Now, now the brother got upset in my house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. In my house. Because he asked me, do I consider myself a prophet? Right. I respectfully answered and told him, no. Right. I do not consider myself a prophet. Got it. Well, then why are you out there? What do you think you're doing on the highways and hedges? I said, I'm reading what the prophets wrote that they That's got right. inspired from the Most High God. That's right. You have never seen me say something is going to happen that's not in the Bible, right. right? Before it happens and then it happens, right? You've never seen me do that, man, right? You got to be careful when you do that. So the brother talking about we false prophets, man, right? Making claims, right? Without proving things, just talking, right? Just talking because you hate your own people. That's right. Then you say, you know what? I bet you after all this, the brothers from SOI, the brothers from Fire of God, the brothers from WFI, Seattle, yeah, they ain't gonna be doing the work no more. I'm pretty sure they're all beefing right now. Uh, 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 right. Man, put the camera on these brothers, man. Come! Right? You got SOI, you got WFI, you got Fire of God, still here standing hey. strong. Dang. Thus said the Lord, uh, right? You're not, gonna, you're not gonna break up, you know what I'm saying, what we got going on. That's right. Only the Most High is going to do that, man, if he wants that to happen. And we genuinely love each, every single brother up here, we love each other, man. That's right. Right? That's right. Unconditional love. God. See, when you don't have unconditional love, you're not able to, dip, to dwell with your people unconditionally. Because your mind is too focused, you know what I'm saying, on having a respect of a person because you see a certain camp, they always doing videos on other camps. And you want to be just like them. Right. Brother talks about brother talking about if you got fringes on the bottom of your shirt on a t-shirt, then you're then you're a false prophet. What? While wearing a garment with the WFI shirt with fringes on, as he's saying. What'd you just say? Say that again, brother. Say that again. Brother's, brother's upset, man. I see I ain't the only one upset about this. Right? And the Bible says ye be angry, but sin not. That's a fact. Right? I'm not gonna call the brother out his name like he did me. I'm not gonna call him out his government name. Right? I'm not going to talk about whatever woman he has. Uh, well, shoot. Right. <laughs> Where's he hanging out at? Right? Like, oh, all right, just all on social media, man. Hey. All on social media. Right? Then you then you find him, you know what I'm saying? You search him on Facebook. And you know, he's got nine friends. All nine of them. 
<laughs> or, or, or porn stars. <laughs> right. All nine of them are porn stars. White, Edomite, and Moabite porn stars. What the hell? See that? <laughs> but we can't say, all right, hey, hey, we can prove all things, man. Right? We cannot make this up. Last one, you need Leviticus 19 and 17. I never seen nobody get roasted like this. <laughs> That's crazy. He didn't want to do it, man. I, yeah. I love the brother, man. I really can go worse. I can go deeper. There's some stuff that I'm not going to expose dealing with the brother because I, I really want the brother to repent. Right. Right. It's a little bit of 19 and 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Right. This has been the theme of today, right, that we've been talking about. Right? Between the brother us, right? Between us. Right? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Go ahead. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Bro, you got to rebuke thy neighbor. Right? You have to judge righteously, though. Right? It's not a righteous judgment if you haven't examined the entire matter before That's you right. open your mouth. Right, right. Right? Go ahead. And not suffer sin upon him. Right? We don't want sin to suffer upon you, brother. That's why we're addressing this. You have to repent for bearing false witness. That's, That's right. Right? God. right? God. As you've seen as the receipts have been displayed today. Right. Right? Visually. Because I'm going to go edit this. That's a fact. Right. So, we don't want sin to suffer upon you. Go ahead. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge. Right? Brothers, you know what I'm saying, bringing up uh, situations from three years ago. Right. right. Yeah. Why are we still talking about what happened in 2021 and 2024? Right. Can we move on with the times now? Right? Can we see the growth in brothers? Right? The brother Gideon is not the same Israelite that he was when he first came into the truth. Right. Than what he is now. It's right. called growth. Right. right? The brother Yohanathan is a more of a mightier speaker and teacher than he was when he first came into the truth. Right. It's called growth. Right? right? Yeah. It's called growth. Yeah. Right? Brother, this brother Malachi has become a mighty reader. Yeah. It's called growth. That's right. These are the things that we have to realize, man. That's right. Right? I'm still learning, right, how to take it to that next level, right, as far as teaching. Which is why I'm involving myself around brothers who've been doing it longer than me. That's right. That's right. It's called growth. That's right. Right? We can't stay at the same thing. Right? So we can't be holding grudges. It's called growth. Right? A brother may have grown from that situation. A brother may have learned from a situation, right, where you see it as, as it being a sin. Well, didn't Christ say we got to forgive our brother 77 times 7? Yeah. Right, which is damn near infinity. Uh, right? Have I now become your enemy because we tell you the truth? <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's the question we have to ask. Right? Continue reading. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Right? Go ahead. I, is that it? I am the Lord. I am the Lord. It's just that simple. So at the end of the day, brother. Right, you know who you are. Right, we love you, brother. Right, we love you, brother, and we pray that you continue to keep doing the work on Aurora Avenue. Right, and please make sure that when you're on Aurora Avenue, make sure that you reach out, right, and heal our sisters on Aurora Avenue that's walking up and down prostituting, instead of hiding in a corner, right behind Holy Moly Donut Shop. That's what I ask. Please. Let's see the fruits. Let's see the healing of our people. Right? Because our people need healing over there. The Most High may have put you over there for a reason. Right? So instead of posting shorts, right, where you're just yelling, and then you got scriptures, you know what I'm saying, posted that's also talking at the same time, and we don't know who to listen to, right? Confusion, right? Because you sold out to Esau after he was, you know, doing a psychological analysis on you, visiting your camp. And you're telling everything Esau needs to hear. Jeremiah so he chapter like 25, he verse 33. You're not and the slain of the Lord shall be at the day from one end of the earth you're even unto the other end of the earth. Death. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered, nor buried. They shall be as dung upon the ground. that he'll be as dung in those days. What do you do with dung? What happens to dung? 
1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 53 for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass saying that it was written death was swallowed up in victory to have a bowel movement right confusing right how about just go deal with our people man what yes, people right. is that? Reach them. That's what we asking, man. That's what we asking. And keep our names out of your mouth. Period. Without any receipts. Show the receipts. Show the receipts. Prove all, all right. things. Prove all things. Right. And hold fast to which is good. So with that being said, <laughs> I'm gonna say call law. Yahweh. But still, my shot, y'all was shot. What is for the use? Kwame Ashwala. Kwame Ashwala. Kwame Ashwala. Kwame Ashwala. Kwame Ashwala. Kwame Ashwala.